saw Star Wars 317 times. His name was in the paper. <laughs> Where's Chip? Why isn't he here yet? He'll be here, okay? Take a chill pill. There. I can't go to my own prom without a date. I can't. It's too late. You know, you're not going, and I don't want to go either. No. Oh, I'm going to kick Chip to death. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Hi. Hey, listen, you have to help me pick a dress because I'm meeting Mike's parents tonight. <gasps> wow, the boyfriend's parents. That's a big step. Really? That hadn't occurred to me. <laughs> Sweetie, they're going to love you. Just be yourself. They live on the Upper East Side on Park Avenue. Oh, yeah, she can't be herself. <laughs> okay, so, all right, which dress? <laughs> you can say neither. Oh, God, God neither. Neither. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. We're going to take you shopping. It's going to be fine. Yeah, totally. You are in such good hands, and I am so good with meeting parents. With the father, you know, you want to flirt a little bit, but not in a gross way. Uh -huh. Just kind of like, oh, Mr. Pincer, I can see where Wallace gets his good looks. You went out with Wallace Pincer? Oh, he took the SATs for me. <laughs> I knew you didn't get a 1400. Yeah, well, duh. <laughs> Monica and Rachel's apartment. Uh, 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 yeah, just one second. Uh, Rachel, it's your dad. Hi, Dad. No, no, it's me. L listen, Dad, I, I can't talk right now. Um, but there's something, um, there's something that I've been meaning to tell you. Would you excuse me for a second? Yeah. Remember back in freshman year? Well, uh, Billy Dreskin and I had sex on your bed. How'd it go? You know, it was, uh, it's actually really great. Took me to lunch at the Russian tea room, and I had that chicken, you know, where you poke it and all the butter squirts out. <laughs> not a good day for birds. <laughs> and then we took a walk down to Bendel's, and I told him not to, but he got me a little bottle of Chanel. Mm, that's nice. Mm -hmm. no. Was that before or after you told him to stop calling, stop sending you flowers, and to generally leave you alone, hmm? <laughs> right. Well, we never actually got that. Oh, it was just so nice to see him again, you know? It was, it was comfortable and it was familiar. And, oh, it was just nice. That's, that's nice twice. <laughs> Rachel, what, what's going on? I mean, isn't this the same Barry who you left at the altar? Duh, where have you been? <laughs> yeah, but it was different with him today. I mean, and it, he wasn't like orthodontist guy, you know? I mean. We had fun. Is there anything wrong with that? Yes. <laughs> Why? I have my reasons. <laughs> okay, how about the fact that he's engaged to another woman who just happens to be your ex-best friend? All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. I know it's stupid. I'll go see him this afternoon, and I will just put an end to it. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, this is Paolo. Paolo, I want you to meet my friends. This is Monica. Hi. And Joey. Hi. And, and Ross. Hi. <laughs> Ragazzi, sono appena arrivato vivo al piano di sotto, quindi ci vedremo molto spesso, thanks. <laughs> He doesn't speak much English. I'm just saying, if I see one more picture of Ed Bagley Jr. in that stupid electric car, I'm gonna shoot myself. Okay, Michael. Let's talk about you. All right. Okay. Okay. So, do you ever get a pet with a girlfriend? <laughs> I mean, it's a cat. You know, it's a, it's a cat. Why can't they get one of those bugs, you know, one of those fruit flies, those things that live for like a day or something? What are they called? What are they called? What are they called? Fruit flies? Yes! Thank you. So would you like any dessert? No! No dessert. Just the check. Please. Here he is. Hi. Guys, this is Russ. Hi.
Ross, 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 Ross. <laughs> hi, hi. Are you a uh, friend of Rachel's? Yes, yes, I am. Are you a uh, a friend of Rachel's? Actually, I'm uh, kind of a you know a date type thing <laughs> of Rachel. Uh, a date? Yeah, I'm her date. Oh, oh, you're uh, yeah. oh, you're the date. <laughs> You know, this is actually good, because if we ever lose Ross, we have a spare. Oh, you are the, uh, paleontologist. Yes, yes I am. And you are a... <laughs> periodontist. See, now they're as different as night and... later that night. <laughs> well, I am going to, uh, get a beverage. <laughs> uh, it was nice, nice, uh, meeting you. Ditto. Rachel, the cute doctors are here. Okay, coming. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi. Hi. Uh, here we brought wine. Look at this. It's from the cellars of Ernest and Tova Borgnine, so <laughs> I believe it was this. Oh, that's great. Look at that. Hey. So Monica has the ankle. It's a... <clears throat> Why don't you tell them? <laughs> After all, it is your ankle. Yeah. You know what? It's feeling a lot better. Thank you. Um... Listen, why don't you guys sit down and, and we'll get you some glasses. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go shopping. Um, you know, before we go, uh, there's something I need to say. Oh, okay. okay. I've kind of had this, uh, this crush on you. But since you were with Ross, I, I, I didn't do anything about it. But now that you're not, I'd really like to ask you out sometime. So that's, that's what I'm doing now. I dropped a cup. Why do all your coffee mugs have numbers on the bottom? Uh, that's so Monica can keep track. That way, if one of them's missing, she can be like, where's number 27? <laughs> okay, there is this one guy, Patrick. I think you're gonna like him. He's really nice, he's funny, he's a swimmer. Oh, I like swimmers' bodies. Oh, yes, and his father invented that magnetic strip on credit cards. Oh. I like credit cards. <laughs> See, not bad at this fixing up thing, huh? Well, so what does he do? Oh, he works in the fine foods division. Chandler, you have the best taste in men. <laughs> well, like father, like son. Patrick and I had such a great time last night. Yeah, Mr. Funny to you, Mr. Funny. Whoa! Oh, sorry, Tommy. What's in the cup, Ross? Um, what is in the cup? Okay, it's coffee. Ice coffee? Tell me it's ice coffee. It, it's hot. Hot coffee! <laughs> you idiot! You gonna spill hot coffee all over me, huh? What are you, just a big, dumb, stupid, doofy idiot with a doofy idiot hairdo? Huh? Huh? What's your favorite thing about summertime? Mm, going to the beach when it stays light real late. Yeah. Hey! Tommy! <laughs> Say, what's your favorite thing about summer? Ooh, I don't know. Probably the uh, smell of freshly cut grass. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Everything looks so good. I think I'm gonna have the chicken. <laughs> I, I, I just have to say this. You're really beautiful. Oh, well, that's... That's very sweet. Thank you. <laughs> I'm kind of funny looking. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, come on. You're way out of my league. Everybody in here knows it. That, that guy over there is probably saying, ooh, I showed him. He must be rich. <laughs> well, I'm not. <laughs> so what do you think you want to order? I'm real excited about that chicken. I'm not funny either. <laughs> So if you were thinking, well, he's not that good looking, but maybe we'll have some laughs. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> well, come on, Steve, let's not rule out nervous laughter. <laughs> hey, now, wait a minute.
minute. Phoebe told me that uh, that you owned your own restaurant. That's impressive. I lost it huh. to drugs. <laughs> I silk screen t-shirts now. Really? What's that like? It's really fulfilling doing something you hate for no money. <laughs> That's right. I have no money. I'm not funny. I live in a studio apartment with two other guys. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I'm infertile. <laughs> Now, come on, come on, Steve. There must be something that you like about yourself. <laughs> I do like my hair. <laughs> really? Hey, guys. Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. Danny. <laughs> oh, Danny. Hey. Oh, uh, Danny, you know Rachel. You know, she, she's nice. She's not bad to look at, right? Thanks, Mon. Of course. Do you want to go out on a date with her, Monica? <clears throat> Ab absolutely. Is Friday okay? Friday is perfect. She can't wait. <laughs> on the date, I would be able to talk to her directly, right? <laughs> oh, see Friday. I had a really nice time tonight. So did I. I'm really glad Monica asked us out. <laughs> So nice. Thank you for doing this. Oh, please. Cooking soothes me. <laughs> so digging. Right. Oh, it all looks so good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I know. My God, this is so, this rice is, I am so good. <laughs> Behind you? <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. They used to live here, and sometimes they migrate back over. <laughs> is, there a, is there some way that they could uh, not be here? It's just that uh, a farm birds really kind of freaked me out. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay great. Here we go, here we go. Whoa. There you go. Hey, how'd you do that? <laughs> All gone. <laughs> so, farm birds, huh? <sighs> yeah, it's, it's, it's my only weird thing, I swear. And I, I would have told you about it, but I didn't know that they would be here. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> so, can I serve you a little of... What? What's... What? Nothing. I, uh, it's just that I know that they're still out there. <laughs> but they're across the hall. I mean, that's two doors away. It's gonna take them a long time to peck their way back over here. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not funny. <laughs> uh, okay, you know, would you feel better if we went someplace else? I mean, we could pack all this stuff up and, you know, go to your apartment. Uh, they're working on it this week. It's a total mess. But, uh, I'm staying at my parents' house. We could go there. Your parents? Yeah, they're out of town. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it's a huge place, and, and it's got this gorgeous view of the park. It'd be very, very romantic. What do you say? Yeah, that works. Huh. <laughs> yeah, they, they can smell the fear. <laughs> oh, hi! Hi. I think I left my keys here somewhere. Oh, well, let's look for them. I'm usually under here. Oh, oh, hey, hi. Are these them? No. Oh, all right. Oh. Here they are, right here. Oh, good. Thanks for your help. Yeah, wait, oh, sorry, Mr. Paul. Mr. Paul. Just call me Paul. Paul. Um, I just wanted you to know that, you know, Ross really is a great guy. Well, maybe you could date him then. That would save me the trouble of killing him. Oh. Are you okay? You just don't look old enough to have a 20-year-old daughter. Well, we were very young when we had her. 
We? Oh, yeah, it usually takes two people to... Oh, no, yes, <laughs> of course. I know, I just, what I, I meant, you know, are you still a we, or are you just you? I'm just me. Uh, my wife died shortly after Lizzie was born. Oh, so you raised her all on your own? Yes, I did. Oh. Joey? Hi, Ross. I was just getting him to like you. Hey, hey. you guys. Hey. Um, I want you to meet Sebastian. Hi. We just uh, we just met at the newsstand. We both grabbed for the last field and stream. <laughs> what? I read that. Can I get you a cup of coffee? Oh yes, thank you. Rachel, what the hell is this? What? You ask us to find you a guy, and then you come traipsing in here with a guy of your own? You found me a guy? Yes, we found you a really cute and funny guy from Taylor's work. Yeah, and I, I found you one, too, who is not a weirdo. Well, you know what, though, you guys? I really appreciate that, but I think I'm just going to take Sebastian to the charity. Are you sure? Because our guy smells incredible. Uh, we just stop it with that already? Here you go. So, Sebastian, do you do any volunteer work? Uh, no, not really. Why? No reason. It's just I know a single guy who does care about other people. Are you funny? Excuse me? What are you guys doing? Are you funny? Tell us a joke. <laughs> Look, I just wanted to have coffee with Rachel. Yeah, well, so do a lot of people. What do you think is a better excuse for why I'm not drinking on this date tonight? Um, I'm a recovering alcoholic. I'm a Mormon, or I got so hammered last night, I'm still a little drunk. Hey. hey. So, what do you want to do tonight? There's a Ukrainian film at the Angelica that's supposed to be very powerful. Interested? No, no. But I'll go see a normal person movie with you. Rach, you want to come? Oh, no, I can't. I got a date. <laughs> a date? Yeah. Why? Is that weird for you? I know. It's the opposite of weird. It's it's uh it's regular. It's it's uh it's mundane. It's it's actually uh, a little dull. It's no Ukrainian film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, earrings. Hey, Joey. Hey, Cash. Uh, hey, this is Ross. Ross, this is Cash. Hey. 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 I, I hear you're going on a ferry tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Bit of a daredevil, are we? <laughs> Too slutty high, Cash. Hey, Rachel. Huh? You ready to go? Yeah. All right, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Have a great time, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. And yes, it is too slutty. Hi, Dad. What are you doing here? I, uh, I wanted to see if your offer to spend Thanksgiving with you was still good. Well, sure. Come on in. Well, what, what happened to your girlfriend? We uh kind of broke up this morning. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mr. Ross says we'll be back in a minute. Oh, wait, before you guys go, can I just ask you a question? Yeah. Um, when a guy breaks up with his girlfriend, what is an appropriate amount of time to wait before you make a move? Oh, I'd say about a month. Really? Mm -hmm. I'd say three to four. Half hour. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> when it's your assistant, I would say never. All right, Rach, the big question is, does he like you? Hey, thanks for talking to me. Come on, what are bosses for? Hug it out. <laughs> All right, he likes you back. <laughs> huh? Told you you should go for it. What did Joey say? I like you back? Uh, yeah, you know, well, see, he... Joey knows that I'm, I'm very insecure about my back. And... <laughs> And, and you were hugging me, so obviously you are not repulsed by it. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. No? <laughs> All right. Here's the truth. Um, Joey said what he said because um, I'm attracted to you. Wow. Yeah, I admit it. 
I have a crush on you, and uh, and and I know that's crazy because we work together, and and nothing could ever happen. And the last thing I want to do is to, is to freak you out or make you feel uncomfortable. Which is why it would be really great if you, if you said something right about now. Oh my God, those guys are stealing my car. Look, um, I think we should talk about what happened on the terrace. Okay. Uh, I never should have said what I said. It, you know what? It just doesn't matter how I feel. I mean, we work together, so nothing could really ever happen between us. And what I would love is just to go to work on Monday and, and never talk about this again. Okay? Big day Monday. Lots to do. <laughs> so we okay? Um, I'm not. Oh, God, I knew it. I freaked you out. No, you didn't. The only thing that freaked me out was you saying that nothing could ever happen between us. Really? Yeah. So please don't fire me for doing this. Okay, well, that's one less thing we have to do on Monday. <laughs> Thanks for the party, honey. Should I help you clean up? No way. You had your party, now I have mine. <laughs> mm. Is everything all right? Yeah, I just get a little bummed when my birthday's over. Well, at least you have one thing to be happy about. Mm. That jerk Gavin from your office didn't show up. Oh. Yeah, I hate him. <laughs> oh, we weren't talking about you. <laughs> Nope, no way to recover. Uh -uh. No. <laughs> Fun party. Well, it was. And you would have seen it if you didn't show up at 9.30. God! Oh, this party was lame. Again, you're welcome. Look, I'll just give you this and go. Oh, you brought me a present. Why? Let me explain how birthday parties usually work. There are presents and a cake, perhaps a fourth or fifth person. <laughs> oh, okay, I, uh, I got you the present to make up for being such a jerk to you. Oh, well, okay. Well, that's very nice. And you wrote a card. From Gavin. I really mean it. It's beautiful. If you don't mind. No. Let me. Oh. Well, what do you know? It oh. fits. No. <laughs> See, Gavin, you're capable of being a nice guy. Why do you give me such a hard time? I'm not sure. Well, Monica seems to think it's because you have feelings for me. I do have feelings for you. You do? Yes, I feel that you're a little annoying. Say, why, Kevin, why? Right when I'm about to change my opinion of you, you go and you... And you do that. I can't believe I'm kissing you. I'm kissing Rachel. <laughs> <laughs>